Well, good evening, howdy, and welcome to Justin's Joint, where we got a bunch of exciting crap to talk about tonight, so stay tuned. Not going to want to miss this. Okay, guys, here we are back down in the joint, and I've got just a little bit of time to make a quick video. And actually, I have a lot of stuff to talk about tonight, so I'm just going to get right after it. First things first, I got a Christmas gift from my mom. Now, it is February 26th. I understand Christmas was nearly well, right out about two months ago. But... You know, we just haven't seen each other since then. Uh, so she mailed me and my kids our Christmas gifts. My wife actually got her Christmas gift on time, so tells you how tells you how 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 special my wife is in my mom's eyes. Anyway, this is even better though. This was worth the wait. I will tell you that right now. Okay, so backstory. I open the box, and there's a shipping parcel baggie in there completely written in Russian. So I look at the tag to see where it came from, and it came from Ukraine. So I'm thinking, hmm, what awesomeness could lie inside of this bag? Okay, well, so I open the bag, and this is what was inside. This paper, this paper pouch that says hookah leather goods. Okay, so all of a sudden now I'm really excited because leather goods, I just, you can't go wrong with that. So pull this out and what we have here is a pipe roll now let me tell you I was very excited to get this and I have since used it I don't normally carry a pipe with me because it's very inconvenient to have to pack everything in something uh, and then lug it around but this its sole purpose in life the whole reason that it is here in the first place is to transport a pipe, pipe accessories, and tobacco all in one place, which is amazing. So, you know, it's got the nice little leather strap. It's fastened on here with a nice metal stud, right? So then you just wrap this around and put the stud through the hole. I mean, it's very, it seems very well built. The leather feels amazing, by the way. And I, I have a feeling that this is going to age really well smells really good smells like leather mm, smells so good so you know we've got a pouch here that you could put something in maybe a tobacco pouch or if you wanted to put a pipe in there you have a nice big a big slot here for uh, a, a tin of tobacco will fit in here a rectangular tin I should say I don't know about the round ones my tobacco pouch also fits in this and then we've got a smaller one here for a couple of pipe cleaners and then another one here that you could stick your lighter or some matches and your pipe to your check tool you could stick that in there and then once you get it all in there you just roll it up wrap the wrap the leather strap around there and look at that boy look at that boy oh yeah I'm gonna be the man about town with my pipes now I'll tell you what oh there's another Another couple of things that it came with that I don't have on me. Stand by. I need to go find them. Oh, okay. So, okay. So I'm back. I found all this crap. I should have had it already. I don't know why I didn't. So it also came with this check tool, which is also a pipe stand. See, so you, you know, you got this, and you set your pipe down in it like that. So it's a pipe stand and a check tool in one. Nice, sturdy leather. That's uh, pretty handy. And then it also came with this leather keychain. So this thing is actually really sweet. Now, what I think I'm going to do right now, 
lost my breath from all this running around trying to find these. Let's go over to the table and uh, I'll show you what it looks like to load this thing up. Okay guys, so here we are. What, what we've got here, I've got a pipe, my Atlas Powder Company pipe. We have a tobacco pouch. We have a lighter and we have a check tool. Pretty much everything you need minus the pipe cleaners which I've already got in the pouch. Okay, so here we have what's in the pouch. The flap to hold everything in once it's rolled up. We've got a small pouch here, somewhat of a bigger pouch here, an even bigger pouch here, and another one here. Now, what you might do is take your tobacco pouch and just slide it in there. Take your pipe, maybe you'll slide it in maybe like right there your check tool and your lighter right there then roll it up and fasten it down there you go so now you got your pipe roll ready or maybe what you want to do is take your tobacco pouch put it in this pouch here now this is big enough to hold a rectangular tin of tobacco I don't know about a round one, but I've stuck a rectangular one in here and it works just fine. Okay, so then we got lighter check tool there. We can stick a pipe over here then. And once again, we roll it all up, fasten it shut, just like that. And we have everything we need. Okay. So we're back, everything is settled. The pipe roll is awesome. Thank you, Mom, love ya. Now what we gotta do is show off the next couple of things that I've got going on here. So the first thing is I went to Jerry's downtown and decided I was gonna smoke a bowl because I had my pipe pouch with a pipe in it and lighter and all the stuff I needed. So I went down and I bought some new pipe tobacco and the first one is this Peterson Luxury Blend. Now, this is what I had when I was down at the tobacco shop. And I will tell you, if I can get it open, that it's really good. It's definitely an aromatic, although, mmm. Yeah, it's definitely aromatic. It smells very, very fruity. Here's what it kind of sort of looks like here. Give you a good look at it. It's kind of a, there's really some big chunks in here, you know, like there's a chunk right about like this. It's nice and big, big chunks. Um, so it's not like the, the, the thinnest ribbon cut that I've ever seen, but doesn't really affect the way that it smokes. It actually smokes really good. It's a little bit on the moist side here in the tin. So, you know, I smoked it just fine. It was it was okay down downtown today. And uh, I really enjoyed this blend, but I've only had one bowl, so I can't say too much about it. I will continue to smoke this in the coming weeks, maybe months. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get through that because see all them tobacco jars back there? <laughs> yeah. All right, now the next one that I have is one that I was actually very shocked when I saw it. I mean, when I saw it, I just picked it up instinctively because this stuff is always sold out everywhere. I didn't, didn't even care what the blend was or what it what, what it wasn't. It is Samuel Gawith Celtic Talisman. Now this, I had no idea what it was. I'd never read a review of this. I had never read a, the description of this. Nothing. I just picked it up because he had two, ten, two or three tins of this on the shelf and I wasn't about to let another Samuel Gawith blend pass by me. The opportunity was there, and I took it, and it was $15. Not too shabby. This one here was $18.95. I mean, that's 
right on par with uh, prices you pay at a tobacco shop. So, you know, I can't complain. And I have it now. I don't have to wait for it. And I have it at all. So this is a cherry blend. I did not know that until I cracked it open and stuck my nose down in there. Mm. But it does smell really good. This is actually the first cherry blend that I will have ever had. No, no, no. I take that back. I tried some cheap drugstore cherry stuff, which sucked, by the way. I could not get rid of it fast enough. So what we're going to do right now we're going to pack up the Atlas Powder Company with some Celtic Talisman and we're going to light it up and we're going to see if I like this or not because as I said I've never had this before and I don't really I don't typically smoke cherry blends so take that for what it is now this tin I don't know how old this tin is let me see if it's got a date on it uh, January 11th of 2019 so it's not super old actually it's it's not super old at all the uh, moisture in the tin for being a Gawith blend surprised the crap out of me I figured uh, when I was downtown that's the reason I didn't smoke this in the smoke in the in the store was because I figured it was gonna be just like every other Gawith blend I've ever had which was you know really 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 wet now I have had this sitting out for a while because I sat it out I was gonna have a bowl and then it came time for dinner so I went and ate and now I'm back and it's a little bit a little bit on the dry side but it'll be all right so let me put the rest back in the tin here back in the tin yeah okay there we go there we go all right, here we go. Celtic talisman. Where's my lighter? Right here. Definitely, you know, until I had these, until I had these Gawith blends, I didn't understand what it meant when they said Lakeland Essence. I thought that that was like an overwhelming, you know, it was all just the uh, the main flavor, and it's definitely not. Now I will tell you, this is a cherry tobacco, but it has that same underlying something that all of these Gawith blends that I have. The tins are up there, you can't see them. The blends are back there. Uh, they all have the same underlying common theme, which I now understand what people talk about when they say Lakeland Essence. Now, some, some of them have stronger Lakeland Essence than others, but, uh, you know, this one is this one is really not, not too strong, but you could definitely tell that it's there. I'm gonna be honest here. It's good. It's good. I am not getting a lot of the cherry coming through. Maybe, maybe just a smidge of the cherry coming through. 
I'm definitely getting the Lakeland whatever it is they put put in these blends. Samuel Gawith and Company Limited. Kendall, Cumbria, England. Manufacturers of fine tobaccos since 1792. Alright, so there's you know, with these with these Gawith blends there's really not much of a not much of a description of any any sort on the thin. But that's okay. I think it's like I don't know, Virginia. Let's see here. Let's see if I can look at it. Virginia. Maybe a couple different varieties. Maybe some Cavendish. Maybe. It's hard to tell. I'm not that good at knowing what the tobaccos look like, but it's got some, you know, some bright yellow leaf and it's got some, you know, darker brownish red leaf. And then it has some really dark, almost black leaf, which I'm assuming, based on the blend, we're going to have some bright Virginias and some maybe red Virginias and some Cavendish. I don't know. I'll have to look and see if I'm right. Matter of fact, Nah, I ain't doing it right now. I'll do it later. Or, you know, you can uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But anyhow, that's what it is, kid. We got a new pipe pouch and two new blends. I will be jarring both of these up, and then the tins will be going on the wall of tins, which I will show you guys eventually. You probably have seen it in passing in some of my other videos. But it's getting a little bit bigger by two tens tonight so all right with that i think that i've had enough recording for one night i do need to get back to work i've got a couple of things that i need to get done so until next time right here in justin's joint we will see you guys next time <laughs>